Hey guys, World Leader here. Today we're going to be going over the December 22nd, 2022 patch notes. And boy, is there a lot to go over. I know I haven't been around for the patch notes, but I'm going to try to see if I can do them weekly again. So let's start it off by checking out what's on Discord. Okay, here we have a post by Coffee. It says, the holiday event is here. Gather ginger cookies and bring them to Sardinex for cool rewards. Raid is boosted. Capture rate increased. Trials are boosted. Resource multiplier increased. New PvP and trials events have begun. Holiday invasion is here. Double drop GVG is coming soon. Nice. Okay, so not too much patch notes, but there is a lot to go over. Let's go ahead and go over the drops or, or the rewards, sorry, for um, the week. Start with PvP. It's going to be a team of three. The rewards are going to be microprocessing stabilizing chips, along with regulators, brain stems, and micron chippos. Let's go to invasion. The rewards there are going to be minor runes, along with all rune types, or sorry, fragment types. Go to trials. Trials is going to be accessory reward chest along with component cream, critter jelly, and mount guts. So you already know it's going to be pretty tough in trials this week. So if you're going to be pushing, just know that there's going to be a lot of people pushing this week. You can see here that there's a lot of people already pretty high scores. And right now, I think I'm barely in tier 15 around there. Yeah, so this is just tier 15. Go ahead and check out fishing to finish it off. We have stat points, critter jelly, seashells, and gems. Now, for the most important part that I want to go over, we're going to go over the holiday portion of things. Now, it's a little different than it has been previously, but I also want to point out that if you click on this tree, at least for the first day, you get 150 gems. Let's go ahead and start off by clicking on Sardinex over here. He's a little snowman. Awesome. So you can see here that we pretty much get one of every golden resource, a pretty nice little haul there for free. Very nice. This is Sardinex here. Happy holidays, hero. Happy to meet you. Hmm. You seem familiar to me, but I swear I've never seen you in my life. Are you famous? Whatever. The holidays are here, and I'm hungry, so I'd like to give you this nice stuff I have right here if you can bring me some ginger cookies. By the way, I've heard Shramps wants a new outfit for this holiday. If you bring me enough ginger cookies, I would know exactly how to make him look like the real deal. Okay, so just by checking it out here, you can already see there's only one page. They have a timer on the top, which is very, very nice. And of course, the amount of ginger uh, cookies you have at the bottom. Um, it's not like buying individual things anymore. Now, it's kind of like gotcha chess, which is kind of unfortunate, but kind of cool at the same time. I like it because it seems a little cheaper on some aspects. And for other ones, it's around the same price, but you still have to roll everything but i do like they separated the old cosmetics with the new ones and to me that's like the best part of it i love that it's separated if it was all together it would have been kind of lame but they did it right this time and i love the new ones are half the price of the old ones so that's pretty awesome i might actually try to get all of them now um we have the material box which is cool because it's 50 for all the not all these but you know individually you have a chance of rolling this to get one but you could actually get the mud on your first try you can get the mintineral on your first try whatever you're trying to aim for there's a possibility you can get it on your first try it's pretty cool i like that you can roll these they also have the boost box now i'm not sure how i feel about the boost box because a lot of people don't really care for these so i'm still not sure how i feel about this one in particular but there is a chance you can get your bit gore for 50 which is not bad at all but if you do the math here it's 50 100 150 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550. So if you do happen to get this as your last drop, you will be paying, I believe if it was 500 last time, I can't remember, you will be paying 50 more than normal. I can't remember if it's normally 750 or 500, but if it's 500, there is a chance you can pay more for the Bitcoin this time around than before, but you will be getting all this as well. So it's still not too bad. If you think about it, it's worth. But if you do hate the fact that you have to get these, then yeah, it could be kind of lame. 
but in my opinion it is actually a better deal if you see it the way i see it and then we have these two schematics down here i i don't have a preview for them unfortunately but um they do um seem pretty cool it's pretty much like a little shrimp style schematic but like more christmas-esque so it's going to be a more christmas version of shrimps and i believe one has 30 block chance and the other one has i believe 17 0.5 damage reduction i can't really remember the attacks but i know each one has a heal i believe so they're pretty decent schematics but i'm not sure for the thousand um price point i wish they were epic familiars that would have been so awesome but unfortunately they're rares but they're still pretty cool to get i'm going to try to get them if possible just because they're only coming this time around so yeah that's going to be the event here let's check out to see if there's anything in the shop at all the shop right now has this happy holidays bundle which i'm going to snag real quick so it comes with one stat point and two token jelly cups which increases your tokens by 10 each so that's 20 and then two shard jelly cups which increases your shards by four so that's eight and we have this here which is pretty common i don't really i don't really like rolling this chest but if you guys need that stuff go for it the legendary adventure bag as usual now here's something new the festivities pack let's check it out so it comes with four cosmetics one of them being an accessory the other being a head body and main hand I believe main hand yes so it looks like a princess accessory so it is uh more female based cosmetic we do have eight ticket rolls eight zeals eight plaques of badges and eight energy packs and by the zeals i meant bunch of zeals sorry about that it also comes with a ginger knot which is the 250 percent boost for 168 hours which is very nice this is probably the best bundle to buy right now it's 30 dollars, and there's other bundles similar to it that are going for 50 or more so this is really nice because it also gives you those limited cosmetics i recommend picking this up if you are looking for a little bit of a boost and some more resources it's a very nice bundle we also have the raid push pack which is probably one of my favorites um i'm not sure how i feel about the chicken gore in it but it's really nice if you are trying to capitalize on getting better fams if you guys are still trying to make lady sparkin if you guys are trying to make um that new um raid familiar that just came out in tier 19 this is a really good bundle to get because it will help get you going now the problem with this is you would have to combine it with like an item fine tomb which is not bad because i'm pretty sure you guys have a lot of those stacked up if you save properly and if not just wait till you get one because pairing one of those with this is perfect for raid so i recommend getting this all the way this is i believe is like 200 raids alone and if you shard stack probably up to 100 200 that's 400 raids like you'll be able to have plenty of runs for this eight hour timer trust me this is really nice the trials push pack probably the most popular uh pack right now in my opinion i think it's one of the best valued packs i try to buy this as often as i can it's um pretty much 10 to uh, token devils along with the sun gore and five stat points i love everything in this bundle even the amount of stat points is nice it's better than one or two so it's a very solid bundle i highly recommend picking this up whenever you can okay the large event pack usually comes around i don't recommend buying this one as long as the ginger one is up but of course um uh, i believe let me see yeah it comes with something that this one doesn't and i believe that is tokens so if you need tokens um and you really don't want the other one because it doesn't have tokens then this one's okay but personally i'm not i don't fancy the event packs at all the weekly gem orb is the best gem orb i believe it's 20 dollars for 3k it's very very solid always pick it up if you can nice okay the bags are normal the event packs normal this is the mythic super stravaganza <laughs> it's 12k gems and it comes with one of each um mythic material now this is really good for those that are tier camping in a very low tier like tier 2 or tier 3 where these are mostly unaccessible or very hard to get especially the curios and the fleece so this is a really good bundle to get unfortunately it's very expensive so you would have to save quite a bit but luckily camping down there helps you 
get more get more gems save up a lot faster and get these packs so are these worth it down there they're a lot more worth it than they are up top in my opinion if you're going to be spending that much you might as well just buy the resources and farm them yourself on a bitcore day and you'll probably get one yourself like you can even pick the ones you want to get if you need more curios just buy a bunch of shards and then you'll get a few curios on a bitcore i know a bitcore with like 200 runs would get me maybe like four curios minimum usually how much i get but it is rng based so it's all different there's a chance you can get none there's a chance you can get like 10 who knows but this is kind of an okay deal it really depends on where you're sitting and how many gems you have so depending on your account and pretty much where it's standing would i recommend you getting this bundle so it's entirely up to you it's not a bad bundle it's only good if you need it now here is probably the best chest that we have all year long for the price and that's the ultra chicken lucky ice boost sunbox it's 1000 gems right now it comes with an ultra gore in it what well, does it come with it? it's a random roll gotcha roll as an ultra gore ice gore chicken gore sun gore bit gore bub gore two oda gores two bite gores and then the rest from there is just i guess materials that i mean sorry materials consumables that you can use to farm like shards energy packs and such i'd say half of this is worth a thousand gems the other half is not so it's pretty good to roll but again it is a 50 50 chance if you pretty much look at it and give it its base value like i know shards are very expensive they're like 650 each or 600 each every time they're on a discount so just two of them is going to be more than a thousand gems so if you get the three it's worth if you get the six it's definitely worth anything that's three and above worth any solo not worth any epics not worth in my opinion i like the experience tomb but to a lot of people it's not worth so it's up to you if you think it's worth it or not but anything above this area is definitely worth and anything three or higher is definitely worth so just keep that in mind and then here we have a higher discount on things normally i believe these are 850 and 5100 for the mega so it's pretty cool that they are on a 35 percent discount right now for any cosmetic bundle right now this is the cosmetic bundle for the week nothing new but it's still pretty nice i love that rexy mount and that's pretty much going to be it for this week's patch notes i'm very excited to start this christmas event honestly can't wait to see what comes out next week as well i highly recommend saving all the ginger um the ginger cookies that you can until the last week so you can definitely decide what you want to buy with the amount of ginger cookies you have try to save up it's easier to make sure you get everything that you want that way but yeah that's gonna be it thank you so much for stopping by if i forgot anything leave them in the comments if you guys want to leave any tips leave them down there as well this is world eater have a great one guys peace Oh, 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 oh,